see when you bought a car last year the car has reduced its value by 26.3 percent in one year it is now worth uh, twenty-eight thousand five hundred dollars calculate the price see only paid for the car last year so what has happened see only bought a car this is a flash car uh, and after one year it has the price has depreciated this is also called depreciation the price has gone down by 26.3 percent okay so let us write what's given okay so rate of decrease so the rate of decrease rate of decrease is 26.3 percent 26.3 percent and 26.3 percent as a decimal is 26.3 divided by 100 which is 0 0.263 okay as a decimal this and this are the same so let me show you this on a calculator so 26.3 divided by 100 is 0 0.263 okay so the price uh, last year the price or sorry current price not last year that's what you want to find the current price or the present price current price is 28,500 and you want to find the price last year the price last year or the price at which it was bought price last price not price last price price last year okay so I'm going to let that equal to say P let us let that equal to P let me change color so can I say this 26,500 is P minus 26.3% of P so I'll write like this P minus 26.3% of P is equal to 26, 28,500. So P is the price at which Sioni bought the price. From that, if you take away 26.3% of P, you will get 28,500. So let us do a little of algebra. So this is 1P minus 26.3 percent of p we just saw the 26.3 percent as a decimal is 0 0.263 so that is same as 0 0.263 of means times p is equal to 28,500. i am showing you this method so that you don't need to remember any formula so this is from 1p you have to take away point 263 so this is same as on a calculator we're going to do 1 minus 0 0.263 okay so let's use a calculator so this is 1 minus 0 0.263 so use your logic this is about uh, say about 27 okay point from 1 from 1 P if you want to if you take away 0 0.263 P you get 0.737 p so can i say therefore this is therefore 0 0.737 p is equal to 28500 i'll repeat it again you bought it for p and there's a decrease of 26% 26.3% of p so from p if you take away 26.3% of p you get this price which is the current price so P I'm writing as 1P and 26.3% of P is nothing but 26. Uh, this is nothing but 1P minus 0.263P is equal to 28,500. 28,500. So from 1P, if you take away 0.263P, you what you, what you get is 0.7. What did we get? 737, not 733, 737P. So this is 737P. Now I want to get rid of the 737P. So what should I do? I would divide this side by 0 
So if you divide this side by 0 0.737, you have to also divide this side by 737. So this and this, get, this gets cancelled. So P is 28,500 mine divided by 0 0.737. So let's use a calculator. This is 28,500 divided by 0 0.737, which is, this is rounding it, so ignore this decimal point, so this is 38,670. 38, so CNA bought it for 30, I forgot the number, 38,670. So he bought it for 38,670. Okay, so price, so let me rise the price. So Sioni bought the car, you can say Sioni bought the car for 38,670. Okay, so let us understand this now from the answer, whether it makes sense. So he bought bought this for 38,670, and then what happened? In one year, the price uh, got down by 26.3%. So I can say he bought it for 38,670, and then you have to take away 26.3% of 38,670. Okay, so this is this is uh, one times. Can I write this as one times thirty-eight thousand six seventy minus zero point two six three times thirty-eight thousand six seventy. Okay, so this is one times thirty-eight thousand six seventy minus point two six three times. 38,670 is same as 0.737 times. I'll explain this. 38,670. Okay, let me show this on a calculator. So, what I'm saying is this. Okay, let me show this. So, this 1 times 38, oops, 1 times 38,670 minus 0 0.263 times 38,670 is what? 28,499.79, which is 28,500. This, or if you go 0 0.737 times 38,670, that would give you the same answer. Okay, so when you're doing this, 38,670 take away. 26.3% of 38,670. What you're doing is this is 1 times 38,670 take away 0.263 times of 38,670, which is, if you want to do one more step, how did I get this 0.737? This is same as, this is the way algebra is so useful. This is same as 1 minus 0 0.263 times, this is nothing but distributive property that you do in uh, numbers. Okay, so 1 take away 0 0.263 is same as 0 0.737 times 38,670, which is what we got, which was a number 28,499, and you round it, is 28,000. 500. So this is nothing but 28,500. So this is how you can check your answer.